Hey, what's up, YouTube? I finally got my Power Gen USB card charger that works for both Apple and Android devices, it claims. So I paid $9.99 for this from Amazon, free shipping. Let's see what it says on the box. Small, sleek, and flexible. Rev 2A, 2.4 amps, 12 watts. Dual USB car charger. So those are the models it goes with. Hey, pretty neat. I didn't even know it goes with PSP. iPad, HTC. Some of the specifications. All that good stuff. Oh, it comes in different color. Hmm. Pink. Wow. Compatible with these. Alright, let's open this. You know, it's real funny, actually, why I came to buy this. Because I needed to get $25 for free shipping, and I couldn't find anything else. So I decided, you know, I've always wanted a USB car charger, you know, for my phones. So I was like, alright, let me check this out. And it had a lot of good reviews. Like, for example, right here. I mean, that's pretty good. It's like almost five stars. So here's what it's packaged in. Got some instruction manual right here. Real simple looking device. Look pretty well built too. Two dual USB. Yeah, I'll probably try this out tomorrow. Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm in my car, getting ready to reveal this PowerGen dual USB car charger. Works for both Apple, iPhone, or Android devices. All right, so basically, this is what it looks like: dual USB. Got the logo right here. Let's pop this open, plug in the car charger. Kinda looks like it lights up, huh? Alright, let me plug in the USB. This is from an Android device. So my phone says 70%. This is my Samsung Fascinate Galaxy S. So let's charge this, see how long it takes to power up 1%. So it's about 747, let's wait, wait until it's 748. Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm in my car, and there was my, both of my cell phone battery are kind of low. So I'm gonna review this. PowerGen dual USB car charger. So this is what it looks like. Dual USB. Pop this open in the cigarette lighter. Oh, it turned blue. Pretty cool. Now I'll be charging my Samsung Fastlight first, Android device. So if you notice, it's at about 68% battery. Let's see how long it takes for it to charge up to 100%. Alright, just hit 748, so let me plug it in real fast. Yeah, that show it is charging. Let's see how long it takes to charge up at 71%. Oop, it dropped back down. Well, anyway. Let's see how long it takes to charge up at 71%. So it just turned 71% and it took almost 4 minutes. So I would say about 3 minutes and 50 seconds. Somewhere around there. That is not impressive at all. It takes almost four minutes to charge one percent. So now let me try my iPhone. All right, if you pay close attention, my iPhone only has about twenty-eight percent battery left. I don't know if you can see that now, but trust me, twenty-eight percent. So let me plug it in. It's about seven 
Actually, let's wait until we turn 7.54 so it's, it's a proper time. Actually, this drop back down is 27%, so we'll start from there. Wait until the time gets to 7.54. I just reached 7.54, I'm I plugged it in. Let's see how long it takes to charge 1%. 27% battery starting at 7.54, charging the iPhone 4. Wow, you gotta be kidding me, that was fast! Not even one minute! Well, almost one minute, it just turned, and it charged, it's 28% now. I don't know why I can't get a better quality on this Samsung Fast Snake, but that's 28%, I can't believe it. So, there you have it. Um, it works best for the iPhone compared to Android devices, or maybe it's just the Samsung Fast Snake. So, I would rate this probably, probably a... Uh, Three and a half stars. Oh yeah, that definitely lights up. See how that looks without the flash? Pretty cool blue lights showing that it's charging. So I've actually gone through the trouble of plugging both of my phones in. So this is dual USB and it turns out that in three minutes time, that's what it took to charge 1% on the Android device. Samsung Fascinate. And since it was duo, it took about well three minutes time it took it charged up two percent for this iPhone which I'm using to record right now. So of course it's splitting its power source. So yeah, I still recommend this item, but definitely more for the iPhone users out there. Because it seems like it's definitely faster by more than three percent than using Android device. I don't know if it's just my phone or the processors that I'm using. But I haven't used this in a while, so I'm pretty sure that I've killed the processors and stuff. So yeah, definitely recommend this item, the Power Gen 2.4 amps, 12 watts, dual USB car charger, which costs about 10 bucks. Out of a scale of one through five, even though I said three and a half earlier, I might have to give this uh, probably close to a four, more like a 3.8. But obviously on Amazon, you can't give that. So, I'll probably give it a 4 star now, but definitely leaning more towards for the iPhone.